Hey there everybody, welcome to another Pixel for Life video tutorial. Today we are going to be creating the iPhone 4G, I guess it is, in Illustrator. Now I couldn't find a good enough straight on picture, so I just stole two images from Gizmodo and did a quick photo chop and put them together. They lined up pretty well. Uh, I was going to use this, but I thought it might be a little hard for a tutorial. So I went ahead and created it first. So now you get to see exactly what we're going to be creating and we got a straight on view. I will be providing a link to this image right here so you can follow along if you wish. Just check in my pants bar downstairs under the video and you will see it. So let me go ahead and drag this to the center and delete this unneeded layer. Then I'm going to select it and lower the opacity. I'm going to bring it to about, I don't know, 76, something like that. Just so we can see our, our lines above it. Then I'm going to lock it and grab the rounded rectangle tool and let me turn off the fill color and I'm going to drag drag it out like this and as you can see the uh, corners aren't round so I'm going to use my arrow up key to round off the corners and I'm, I'm going to bring it into something about probably like that and then I'm just going to uh, scale it downwards and I love Illustrator for its rounded rectangles so much nicer than Photoshop. You can actually scale it without having to worry about it. I'm going to line this up pretty good. Not, not going to be 100% exact. And then I'm going to hold down Alt and, and Shift, or Alt and then just drag it to the side. And the reason I do that is to duplicate it. Then I'm going to right click, go to Transform and Scale it. Now I want the uh, horizontal scale, which is the sides, I want that to be 98 and the vertical to be 99. For some reason if you just scale them both the same, the uh, vertical is a little bit shorter if I remember correctly. So I did that. I'm going to drag this back in place and then select both of those and then up on the top here I'm going to do uh, you know, align it vertically and horizontally. So then we have the two layers. The one behind is going to be the chrome layer and then the one front is going to be the screen. So when you have that, you can grab the round rectangle tool again and we're going to start from this screen portion right here and drag that out and then make the corners not so round by using an arrow down. And I'll go to something, something like that. And then once again, select both and align vertically and horizontally very good zoom in and in this tutorial we're just going to be creating the outline uh, it's going to take a little bit too long to create the outline and then color it in so we're just going to break it up into two parts so grab your rounded uh, your eclipse tool I mean hold down shift so it constrains the proportions and drag it out right here for the home button that's perfect and then click on here again and go to your rounded rectangle tool and we're going to create the little home sign. Hold down shift so it's a square. All right, you don't have to worry about that yet because we have to make it uh, not so round. Something like that. So once you get the right roundness, hold down shift and click. Very good. And now on the 4G model, it has a separation right here. We're going to create that by just grabbing the, uh, the line tool and hold down shift and drag that out go to your strokes, you can go to window stroke I have mine on the sidebar and I'm going to make the width 1.5 and then just uh, align it so it snaps to the edge and this snaps to the edge very good and I'm going to go to uh, transform or arrange uh, you're not going to be able to see it arrange and then send it back and then I'm going to use the command or control and then the right bracket key and bring it up one so that it's above that back layer. It's a little confusing but you'll see and get it once we start shading this in. So go to the top and we need to create this uh, the speaker and the camera. So let's start with the speaker. I'm going to zoom in and click and drag about right there and make it slightly rounder like that okay and then 
Um, going to lower that stroke width just so we can see better. I'm going to put it about 0.5. And then I'm going to hold down Alt and Shift and drag it down to duplicate it. And then size it up and bring in the sides. Something like that. So it's the inner speaker. And then ground, grab your ellipse tool and we're going to create the camera. And you want to watch out and make sure it's the same height as the, uh, the speaker. So I did it like that. I'm just going to drag it over. By holding shift so it's constrained. Zoom in and we're going to want to create two more ellipses. One right here and then we're going to drag out one more something like that. And we'll see if we have to size those later once uh, once we, um, I can't think of the word, once we start shading it in. Alright so I aligned it in the center and now I'm going to zoom out and one last step is going to be creating this power button and once again I'm going to grab the rounded rectangle tool and I'm just going to click the background change the corner to 2 okay and it just made a random shape and I'm going to size it correctly right there and let's bring it up just slightly okay now I want to get rid of this rounded corners because it's not necessary and it just bothers me if it was there so I'm going to go to, by clicking and holding down, I'm going to go to delete anchor points. I'm going to cl click and delete those bottom ones. And then come over to convert anchor points, and that's going to straighten out that bottom edge when you click both of them, as you can see. Alright, so I'm going to select both of those points, and then just drag them up. Simple as that. Uh, let's actually bring it down just slightly, so once we make the, uh, the stroke around it, it doesn't mess anything up. So let's zoom out and make sure we got everything. Um, looks like we got it all. So that's going to conclude this part of the tutorial. In the next one, we're going to work on the shading. And then that'll end it off. Thanks for watching, and check out the next video.